Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is part of our review of the Asus GTX 560 Ti Direct CU2 video card. And uh, if you look closely, this has the core clock of 830 MHz. There are actually two versions of the 560 Ti. I believe the top version comes in at 900 MHz. But this is just the regular GTX 560 Ti clocking at 830 MHz, about uh, 10 megahertz over the stock 820 megahertz GTX 560 Ti but uh, what we are here for, uh, to do in this part of the review is compare the fan noise produced as we crank up the fan speed and if you're looking at the GPU tweak utility we're looking here this is actually a new software from Asus if, you're, have, if you haven't seen it yet yeah you can check out our previous review of the GTX 580 Matrix Platinum part of the Republic of Gamers video cards and uh, that's when this software was debuted. This is actually a huge improvement over the Smart Docker software. It allows you to tweak your video card, overclock, and save your profiles. And uh, as I mentioned, we're going to take a look at the fan speed. And as you can see, the, under the fan noise and the right now is at around 20% fan speed. I'm going to crank it up 5% up until we reach a point where it becomes a lot more audible, exponentially audible, usually around, uh, from my experience from G uh, this, these uh, Asus GTX 500 series, or XCU 2 video cards, is around 50% uh, or 60%. So once we reach that, I will crank it up from 5% to 10% per step. And you can just listen to the fan, uh, fan noise changes and compare. As uh, to note that the video card is inside a NZXT, a, uh, NZXT H2 silent mid tower case, and I have set the uh, the fan speed on the uh, case itself and the lowest so there so to minimize ambient noise as much as possible, and it is about as usual we have it on I have it 21 inches away from the camera. And I'm going to slowly crank up the fan speed right now, and you can compare. To manual first. 